Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Cousin Mel. Um, tonight I'm making, um, doing this one for my son, the um, uh, Fry Supreme from Taco Bell. So I got shoestring fries and uh, I got hamburger. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to use half of this. I got another recipe that I'm making for you. So I'm just using half of the hamburger. Um, you're also going to need, I don't have um, green onion. So instead I'm going to use, I'm going to use a red pepper and a green pepper. And uh, I got sour cream and uh, the nacho sauce, the El Paso, I think El Paso or Old Dutch. Just, I'll have to look, just one sec. Way off. The Tostitos. And it's medium. So I'm gonna eat that. So what I'm gonna start doing right now is I am going to fry up my meat. Um, Cause once that's fried up, it's going in the oven anyway. Um, just to get warm again. So I want to get my hamburger done before I start doing my French fries. And like I said, the hamburger, once it's cooked, I can put it to the side and then just leave up for the fries. Um, I was going to make the wraps, but um, Walmart had a sale on these. So I, uh, I got these instead and it's much quicker. And it comes with everything. So I'll uh, get my hamburger started and then uh, I'll be back with both from there. I just wanted to say too, if you wanted to add uh, taco seasoning to your hamburger, you can. Um, I just added salt and pepper. That's all I'm adding to mine. Um, but if, like I said, if you want to add some a bit of spice to it, go right ahead. I'm just uh, just cutting up my green my green pepper here. I got my um, red pepper done, so I'm just cutting up. And like, or uh, if I had had green onion, it would have been good. But I'm just going with what I have on what I have on hand. So I uh, I'm heating up my grease now for my um. Heat up my grease for my uh, French fries, and like I said, once it's all done, I'm just gonna uh, layer it all together, and I will uh, come back and show you what I'm doing there. So I just have my fries on now in the um, in the grease. I got them fried up. So now, if you want to use the oven to do them. That's fine if you want to use your air fryer. Um, I'm just doing them in the grease because I just want them a little bit crispy. But my hamburger's all done. The veggies are cut. And now I'm just waiting for the fries. And uh, when I'm getting ready to layer it on the pan, I'll come back on and layer it on the pan. I'm just going to put it in the oven just to kind of warm it up. And uh, so we'll be right back. Also, too, guys, um, what I noticed is if you buy this, it's fine. But if you want to turn around and end up adding like sour cream on it and cheese on it, like please do make it your own. Um, I just realized it doesn't come with cheese. So we're probably going to add cheese on our plus some sour cream. And uh, but uh, so yeah, so I got that warming up now. That's all ready to go. I'm just waiting for my French fries and show you what to do. So I'm going to take the fries out in a minute. I just got a plate with some paper towel on it just to uh, help catch some of the grease. And then I'm going to lay them in my pan. So I just wanted to keep you updated where I was at. So I'll, uh, I'm going to take them out in a second and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them done. Um, 
I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Put you down here. Hope you can see. So I'm just going to take the fries. Try and keep them in a, a line. Uh, I'm just be very careful because they are extremely, extremely hot. So I'm going to take my hamburger. I'm going to put my hamburger all over the top. Now I got more, probably more hamburger than you get at Taco Bell, but if I have to, I'll just put it. So then I'm going to take my nacho sauce, which is such greasy for me. And then and pour that on the top. About the big bottle, but you might not use a big bottle. Okay. So then I'm just gonna take my green pepper and red pepper, put that on the top. Got to get our veggies in. And then I'm going to stick this in the oven for about maybe 10 minutes. And then it's, uh, it's all done. Add some sour cream on the top of it and enjoy. So uh, that's it for me, guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye.